Joey, on this very, very sad evening, I know the news is very fresh. Uh, as you look back at your memories with the Illich family and especially Mr. Illich, what do you remember most fondly about your time with him? Well, I just, uh, coming, coming to Detroit at such a young age, he really took us under his wing as, uh, as our second father. I mean, me and, uh, and Stevie and Proby were all drafted at the same time we came to camp, and, and Mr. Illich was always there for us. He'd come down, unlike a lot of owners, I mean, he would come down after a big win and shake everybody's hand. And, uh, he just, he just was, we were an extension of, of his kids, and he just treated us so well. It seemed like every offseason was Christmas for the kids, and he was the father delivering a big free agent gift. Was it like Christmas morning every time July 1st hit when you knew that he was going to come through with a big gift for you guys? Well, we knew. We knew he, he had such a passion to, to be successful and to win that uh, he wanted to win a Stanley Cup. And uh, every year, he did everything in his power that, that he could to produce a winner. It didn't always happen, but there wasn't. There was. He did his job, and some of us didn't do ours at times. But uh, <laughs> yeah, we knew he was going to do whatever it took to to make us a champion. Joey, we know he was a great businessman. We know how much success he's had. But give us a special memory, like something he may have whispered in your ear, something that you will never forget about this man who you just said is really like your second father. You know what? Uh, when I was out of hockey in 1996, looking for a team, I ran into him in the parking lot going to a a Red Wing game, and he, he seen that I was working out, and he grabbed my arm, and he pulled me into his, into his car, and he says, he says, Joe, I'm doing what I can. I want to get you back here for one more run, and that was, uh, that was probably in November of 96, and sure enough, uh, uh, they signed me back uh, late, late December of that year. Wow. Unbelievable. I mean, the way he delivered brought you in here, the personality that he had. Celebrating with him when you guys brought him that first Stanley Cup in 97, when you saw his face and, and Lord Stanley being raised, what was that emotion for you and the guys like? Well, it was, it was amazing. Like I said, he, he, was, he changed Detroit hockey. He changed the city of Detroit. He, we weren't very good back uh, early on, but uh, he brought in all the right folks, the right coaches, the right general manager, and, and just treated it like a business from one end. But then he made sure we were all having fun and, uh, and part of his family. And like you said, giving us gifts every, every free agent time or every trade deadline. It was, it was, it was, it was a pretty special time. Joey, before we, before we let you go, um, you know his wife, Marion. I mean, they were married for 60-some-odd years. He's got seven adult children, grandchildren. Do you want to say anything to his family tonight? I, I just can't imagine what, what they're going through uh, I love the family. I love Marion. I just, I, I wish her the best and that whole family. I just, uh, they've done everything for me and I just wished I could do more for them. Joey Kosher, thank you very much, former Detroit Red Wings player. And as he uh, said, uh, Mr. Illich certainly meant a lot to him. In fact, brought him back for another chance here this town. So.